Hey, God bless you. Welcome to my channel. I'm excited for today's video because I know that God's going to speak to your life. The theme of today's video is this. You will change. God guarantees it. So make sure you pay attention. Watch this video the whole way through because I know that I know that God's going to speak to your life. And I hope and I pray that you will be encouraged after watching this video. So I want to tell you a word. Submission. What is submission? Submission is when you let the authority of something else guide your life. Submission is when you get under the authority of something else. Not only that word, submission, but there's also one like it. It's called yield. What is yield? Yield is when you give way to something else other than yourself. Yield is when you give the right away to something else, to someone else. Or, I don't know if you like MMA or wrestling, but when somebody has somebody in a lock or an arm bar or a leg bar or a chokehold, when somebody has them in submission, what does the person do? They tap out, but it's also called what? They yield. In other words, they give room for him. They surrender to him. They're yielding. Well, I want to tell you, you will change. God guarantees it. All you need to do is just submit. All you need to do is yield to God. He's doing it all. I want to read you a very amazing and special and just full of blessing scripture from the book of Ephesians chapter 5. I want to read it to you, verse 22 all the way to verse 27. Pay attention because it has to do with marriage, but this marriage, like physical marriage, like real marriage, this marriage is an exact representation of exactly what Jesus has done for you and me. But I want to take it back all the way to the Garden of Eden before I read this from Ephesians chapter 5. When Adam and Eve sinned against God, does the Bible say sin entered through a woman? No. The Bible says sin entered through one man. Eve bit the fruit, yes. But have you ever noticed when you read, the eyes of them were both open when they both ate. Why? Because her husband was the head. Her husband is the authority. When she bit the fruit, nothing happened immediately to her. But once she gave to her husband and once her husband bit the fruit, then that's when their eyes were open. Why? Because he's the authority, because he's the head of the marriage. So when the head of the marriage, when the authority disobeyed God, when the authority bit the fruit, that's when sin entered the life of them. That's when sin entered this world. But that's a good thing. This is why it's a good thing. Because through the authority, sin entered Adam. Also, likewise, because God is just. Did you know God is a judge? God is just. In the same way, through Jesus, through one man, righteousness and salvation enters your life. I want to tell you that because of Jesus Christ and what he did on the cross for you, he was counted, he was treated as the worst sinner ever by God. God treated his son Jesus as the worst sinner, but he was not a sinner. I want you to imagine this was a, a ticket or a debt or a receipt of something you owe, maybe a credit card debt, a car note, a house note, some type of debt that you owe. They got to get paid. You just can't leave debts unpaid. They got to get paid or it's going to mess your credit up or sometimes even worse things can happen. You got to pay that debt. Well, I want to let you know that Adam brought a debt into this world called sin. And nobody could ever pay it. Not Noah, not Abraham, not Isaac, not King David, not Jeremiah, not Samuel, not Isaiah, not none of the prophets, not Elijah, not Elisha, not none of the prophets could pay this debt because they all had the same debt inside of them. They all had sin. But Jesus is perfect, is flawless, is holy. He's the only one that had what it took to pay the debt. You know what pays the debt of sin? Holiness. Holiness does. Nobody could pay the debt of sin because everybody had sinned themselves. But Jesus is the only perfect, flawless, righteous son of God. So God said, son, I'm going to give you the debt. I'm going to treat you as the worst sinner ever to be born. I'm going to put all the sins of mankind, past, present, and future on you. And you're going to pay the debt. You know what Jesus said? Not my will be done, but yours. He said, yes, I'll do it. I'll obey you. And the Bible says, for God so loved the world, he gave his one and only begotten son, that whosoever should believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. When you put your trust in Jesus, you know what you're receiving? Forgiveness and freedom. Because Jesus paid the debt. He was the only one that had what it took to pay the price of sin. Because of his holiness and his righteousness. Now, pay attention. Because the same way Adam brought sin into the world, one man brought sin into this world, that's the same way one man, Jesus Christ, brings salvation and forgiveness doesn't have nothing to do with you doesn't have nothing to do with me adam brought sin in the world that didn't have nothing to do with you 
Jesus brings salvation and righteousness and holiness to you. That doesn't got nothing to do with you either. All you have to do is submit. Get under the authority of Jesus and you will change. Let me read you this. Look what the Bible says about Jesus. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 22. Look what the Bible says. Pay attention because these are some gold nuggets. Pay attention. Wives, submit to your own husbands as to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, his body, and he is himself its savior. Who's the head of the marriage? Of course, the husband. But why is this so important? Because the Bible says Jesus is the head of the church. And the Bible says he himself is its savior. Who's the savior of the church? Jesus. Not anything you do. Not anything you can say. Jesus is your savior. It just keeps getting better. Now, as the church submits to Christ, so also wives should submit in everything to their husbands. Husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for. He saves us and he gave himself for us. Talking about his crucifixion. Jesus is doing it all. Look at the trend. Jesus is doing it all. All you and I have to do is what? The Bible says wives submit to your husbands. Do you know that Jesus is compared to the husband and the bride is the church? Did you know that? Jesus is going to do it all. He's going to save you, sanctify you, forgive you. He's going to justify you. You might have a lot of errors, a lot of flaws. He's the one that's going to fix all that. Jesus is going to fix all that. All you need to do is submit to him. That's all you need to do. Get under his authority. Submit to the Lord. And he's going to do everything in your life. Let's keep reading. Husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her. That he might, who? Him. That he might sanctify her, having cleansed her. By the washing of water with the word, so that he might, he might present the church to himself in splendor without spot or wrinkle or any such thing, that she might be holy and without blemish. Who is the one washing? Who is the one cleansing? Who is the one making sure that we're not going to have spot or wrinkle? That's talking about a sin in our life. Who's the one doing it? Jesus. Jesus is the one doing it all. All you need to do, you will change. You will change. I know sometimes the devil might tell you, no, you're never going to change. You're always going to struggle. You're always going to be in this repetitive cycle of sin. Nope, 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 nope. Right now, right now I might have a spot. Right now I might have a lot of wrinkles. But Jesus is the one that's going to do the dry cleaning. Jesus is the one that's going to do the laundry. Jesus is going to do the ironing. He's the one that's going to cleanse me and wash me and purify me. It's his job to present me. Spot free, wrinkle free. Jesus is the one doing it all. That's what the Bible tells us. He's the one that's sanctifying you, washing you, cleansing you. All you got to do is submit to him. That's it. All you have to do is submit to Jesus. What happens nowadays when a woman marries a man? What happens? Everything that's his, everything that's his belongs to her. Everything, houses, property, investments, everything that's his when they get married belongs to her. That's exactly what happens in the life of a believer. And you know the only thing that God is asking you for? The only thing that God is asking you for is for your submission. Get under his authority. There's blessings when you get under the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ. He will begin to wash you and cleanse you. The Bible says that the humble, he exalts and more grace is given to the humble. When you submit, he exalts you. He takes you out those low places, gives you the grace you need to change, gives you the grace you need to overcome. But when you're prideful, the Bible says that he sees you from afar. Don't lose out on all the blessings that Jesus wants to do in your life, the change, the victories, the freedoms, the deliverances, the boldness, the authority that God wants to give you simply because you won't submit to his authority. Don't lose out on those things. Submit to his authority. Everything that's his is yours, and you will change. I pray this video was an encouragement to your life. If it was, do me a favor. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. I post weekly videos that I hope and pray will be a great encouragement to your life. And also, if you want to show your appreciation for this channel or for this video, you can do so by a feature at the bottom of the screen called Super Thanks. Those are always a great blessing to my life. Those are always greatly appreciated. Thank you. God bless you. I'll see you soon, Lord willing. Have a blessed day.